man, that thing is done. Was that a TE? Yeah. What are you doing, bro? This thing's still good. It's the zombie mill. All the flutes are chipped. Man, you don't know what you're talking about. It chips, it breaks, it this, it keeps going, it keeps going. And we call it the zombie mill. This is a zombie mill. Take a close look at this tool. Every single cutting edge is chipped for at least half of the length of the flute. It's even missing a corner. So what happens when you take a damaged end mill, throw it in a tool holder, and then go full slotting an inch deep through 1018 steel? Let's find out. It's go time. One of the things I find really incredible about these end mills is that as the cutting edge chips and breaks down, the tool basically resharpens itself almost like an arrowhead. With any other end mill I've ever used, once you have chipping on the tool and you're missing corners, the tool is pretty much going to disintegrate immediately. These neck tools are incredibly rigid and even though it's sticking way out of the holder and only cutting with the bottom of the tool, we are getting a very stable cut with no chatter and it sounds great. These incredible end mills are available in our online store at a great discount and buying from us helps to support free education. So now you guys know why we call these things a zombie mill. We started with a damaged, broken end mill. We made it through seven full slots at regular speed as if the tool was new. The zombie mill, the tool from Ketametal that just won't die. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again in the next video.